Hello, Sara. Hello, teacher. Hello, Katia, Marielos, welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you guys, how are you guys doing? Okay, so Marielos and Katia, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm good, and you? Hi, thank, thank you, teacher. How was your day today? I was very busy. Yes, yeah, so what did you do? Yes, excuse me? What did you do? Normal day at work? Uh, yes, I, I worked. Every day, um, and tomorrow I went to uh, a meeting with um, five schools. <laughs> okay, and and after I return to my work and work every day. Tomorrow you're going to go to where? What? Where are you going? In the, this, uh, I went to my. The, the, to the school, so my, my children study, and I have um, Escuela de Padres, Parent School, maybe. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, class, so let's start. Miguel, you are walking. Yes, teacher, I'm walking from my house. Yeah. Hey, did you see the news that this Lopez Davison killed himself? No. Yes, I listened to the news. Yeah, that was. Did you watch the movie Sueños de Fuga? Yes. I watched it. Yeah. Do you remember the the like Caldera, the guardian, right? The guard? When the police came for him and he Yeah. I when when I read the news today, I imagined something similar with Lopez, Davison. Oh, really? I, 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 I remember when when was a um when was a child. He he was my platonic love. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, really. Oh man. Yeah. For all time, was my platonic love. Imagine what has to go through your head to take that decision. Yeah, no, because I think um, he he has a lot of problem with that political. Yeah, I you know honestly, I think I think he was in trouble, and and he knew he was in trouble, but I think imagine. I said, oh my God, what are my children going to think of me when they discover the truth and everything? So I don't know, but but he doesn't he doesn't have a child. Oh, he doesn't have children? Yeah. He doesn't uh he have 
he has a a young a younger uh yeah that's in a no he has a younger daughters and okay he has some, children mm, yeah okay yeah teacher yes how do you say it's cortina de humo smoke curtain smoke corn oh i think it's Small card. Why? Yes, it's uh because the news is uh is uh, watching with us the scary the many is scary this uh, I don't think is uh is true he uh, he is, is they, they, yes. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, I don't know. while they are, he is in a hospital and, and they're, all the news reporters are in the hospital where they took him. So, but, but you know, one thing, Miguel, I've noticed that in the past years, every time, every time something happens, oh, people always say, yes, cortina de humo for any reason. <laughs> so I, you know, that, that expression, um, a lot of people say for everything, you know. No, but for this reason, for me, it's impossible that I believe in no, this. What, what, what I read was that um, the um, prosecution, the, the Fiscalia, they came to his business and the employees told them, look, la, la Fiscalia viene. And in that moment is when he shot himself. Mm. You know, and um, the the fiscal, the prosecutor, he found him. With the, he he used uh, he used a gun. A gun. Yes, it was a suicide. Mm -hmm. uh, he killed himself, oh and, and and I think it's true. I think it's true because a lot of reporters are outside the hospital in this moment where his body is. So if it's not true, va a haber algún metido doctor que va a decir no, no, él. <laughs> if it's not true. But, it's possible. Uh, yes, it's possible. Yeah. That's why crime doesn't pay. Sorry? In our country, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how all the rich people in our country, they left the country. Cristiani is not here. Um, yeah. Sifrido Reyes is not here. Funes is not here. Sancho Funes Seren is not, is not here. here. And, and the funny thing is that they still talk outside, you know, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. <laughs> Maybe in, in 10 years, Bukele is the outside. Maybe. In, the, in 10 years, no. In four years. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No. Yeah. Well, so that that's that's what's in the news today. That's hot in this moment. In all day, I can I can watch my cell phone, but when I get um I got out my job, I check my my Facebook, and I and I read a. Uh, the news yes it's everywhere what mm -hmm. the fuck is impossible for me. yes but i you know uh for example in that moment i can watch my cell phone for all time <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah after that's... my class i check my you will check yes all right let's see the new uh let me open the but you know what's going to be funny? That this is going to be um, culpa, the fault of Naib. Yes. <laughs> I imagine I imagine all the press is going to say, the pressure Naib put, the pressure Naib put. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but you know, I was reading that this, who started the case, the case... The case was started by Melara. So it was the previous. 
It was the previous prosecutor. Melara, ¿cómo es que decían? Pescuezo de pollo, something like that. Pollo seco, pollo frito, something. Remember, Melara? Pollo something, they called him. Yeah, he has a nickname. Okay, so let me open the page. Let me see. So yesterday we were doing a little bit about passive and actives, remember? Well, um, yes. There's two explanations for what is an active and passive voice. Who can give me the grammatical explanation of an active voice? Me. Uh, the okay. active voice when the subject um, use first and object use the second or last. Okay, and the um, passive voice? And the passive voice is when the object use first and subject use second or last. Okay, it's not use, it's goes. Goes. Okay, very good, yes, that's right. So subject, and that's the grammatical explanation, good. But what is the logical explanation? Which uh, is the most important if subject is subject or object? Yes, the, the logical explanation is who you want to make more important, the subject or the object. And whoever you want to make more important, that's the, that's the voice you use. Okay? Okay. Mayra, are you here today in the class? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. So, Teacher, I have yes. a question. In active mm -hmm. voice, is the verb in in the time in the time is uh, in the time is uh, even the, uh, the verb uh, the time in passive voice or chance? No, in passive voice, the verb will always be in past participle. Past participle. Okay. In passive voice, always. Okay. Even if it's future, past, or present, it will always be in past participle. Past participle. Always. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, and when I use very past participle, is the active voice. Passive voice. Passive. Okay. Yes, it's the passive voice. An example, uh, I am write the poem. Uh, the poem was writing for me. No. Tell me no. why is that wrong? Listen to what you're saying. I am writing a poem and the poem was written by me. What is wrong with that? Written, written by me. Ah, okay. not, no, no, but written by me is not the problem. Mm, written by me. Listen, I'm going to repeat. You said, I am mm -hmm. writing a poem and the poem was written by me. Why is that not correct? Oh, it was. It's not correct. It was. How, how do you say, teacher? Sorry. Right. Okay, because you said, I am writing a poem. That is present ah. continuous. So the passive has to be present continuous too. So the passive is the poem is being written by me. It's being written, okay, okay. The poem Great. is being written by me. Is for time. I'm sorry, Miguel. Teacher is for time uh, used in the active voice. I am write the poem is. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, look, listen, listen. This is very, very important. What I told you yesterday. The tense is always the same in active and passive voice. Always, the tense will never change. 
Okay, okay. Now, in this case, you change because you said, I am writing the poem. That is present continuous. In the passive, you said the poem was written by me. That is simple past. Ah, okay. Is that is the problem because I don't... Yeah, don't so, it, uh -huh. so in the passive, it still has to be present continuous. So the no. poem is being written by me. Okay, okay. I am understand so so no, no, <laughs> thank you teacher. <laughs> yes. I mean if remember what I told you yesterday es lo mismo en español. Estoy escribiendo un poema, el poema está siendo escrito por mí. The poem is being written by me. It's being, it's being. Okay. Um, Sergio. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Listen to this, Sergio. I bought... I bought the house in the mountain. Is that active or passive? I bought a house in a mountain. I bought the house in the mountain. Yes, and me, I bought is in, in past, past. I bought. But is that active or passive voice? No, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's active. Okay, good. I bought the house in the mountain. What is the passive? For me, um, is um, let me see. I um, the passive seria I I have I nope. have both. No, nope. no. Nope. De entrada le dije que no porque rompió las reglas del passive. Listen, I bought the house. Imagine in El Salvador, solo hay una montaña y había una casa ahí. I bought the house in the mountain. So, what? that's active. What is the passive? The mountain. I've, I've, I've bought. No. The mountain. No. The house in the mountain. The house. The house. The house in the mountain. Uh, was bought by me. The house in the mountain. Was bought. By me. By me. By me. Oh. You see, Sergio, tú volvías a empezar con I, I, y no, no, no. Active, you start with subject first, object last. Passive, you start with the object and finish with the subject. Excellent. All right? Clear. Okay, cool. So yeah. I bought I bought the house in the mountain, or remember the house in the mountain? Yes. That house was bought by me. That house? I understand. The house in the mountain was bought by me. Miguel, I have a question. I see that you have earphones, correct? Yes. Do you do you use a laptop or a or a cell phone? Uh, my cell phone, teacher. Is the microphone of your cell phone can, um, on? Because I noticed that your uh, microphone picks up everything. <laughs> oh, uh, it's, uh, it's cleaning my phone every every moment for, for to speak. Yes, but I, I see that you have a microphone, so. Yes. Um, yes. But my question is, which microphone do you use? The one in your earphones or the one in your cell phone? In, uh, because because that microphone recoge todo el sonido like oh okay do you know which microphone you are using 
Uh, no, no, it's, it's got my... Oh. Uh, the earphones? iPhone, uh-huh. Earphones, no iPhone. Earphone. earphone. Uh, sorry. Earphone. No, 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 it's okay. It's all right. Okay, Alex Jacko. Hello, Peter Shu. Messi is the best. Is that active or passive? Mm, it's the active. Good. What is the passive? Mm, it's the pass. Um, in the bus, no, in bus is is aborted by Messi. <laughs> no, and no, no. Uh, please, please, uh, question again. Messi is the best. Ah, oh, no, the best. No, he's not the best. <laughs> For me, he's not the best. But, okay, I, I, I answer to you. Don't tell me that you think Cristiano Ronaldo is the best. No. Uh, um, another, 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 another guy, but not Messi. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. But okay. Uh -huh. um, Messi is the best. Okay, the... Uh, the best, um, the best is no. Messi, the best, the the best is, is was Messi. No, no, no. I, I don't know. Man. Okay, who can help uh, him? The best uh, is being Messi. No, no, no. no. Mm, the best is. Mm. No, I, I don't know. Alex, Alex, I trick you because that's not an active or passive voice. Yeah. Because remember, you need to have a subject and an object. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I try. Uh, you only use an adjective. Uh -huh. I, I try. I, I have a, I have a subject, but an adjective but I don't have an object. Yeah. So I'm sorry, Jacko, it was a trick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So remember, la misma regla dice, an active voice is a subject and an ob subject first, object last. Passive, object first, subject last. So you need a subject and an object. But in this case, Alex, I only mentioned a subject. Eso sería presente simple porque es un hecho. Messi is the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Katia. Yes, teacher. I ate. I ate the chocolate cake in the refrigerator. Uh, my, wi my wife was very angry today because she wanted chocolate cake, but the cake was there like for a week, <laughs> you know, for one week. And so, <laughs> so I ate all the chocolate cake today in the refrigerator. Is that active or passive? Yes, the chocolate cake was eating by me. Yes. Very good. So I ate all the chocolate cake today. Was that active or passive? Katia, was that active or passive? Um, was that active? Was an active, yes. It was, was a? Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, hold on. I ate the chocolate cake, active or passive? Okay. Is that active or passive? And that is active. Very good. And then the example you gave to me was the passive. The passive. Okay. All right, cool. Milton. Hi, teacher. Tell me. Hel Hello. Hello. I bought the last 
Coca-Cola in the store today? The last. Well, is that active or passive? The last Coca-Cola. The last passive. Okay, it's passive. What is the Subject, active? The last, the last Coca-Cola, the action. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're saying. So listen, I bought the last Coca, ya le ha pasado eso, que van a la tienda y ya no hay Coca. So. Okay. And I bought yes, the last. The, only the last. Yeah, so listen to this. I bought the last Coca-Cola in the store. Is that an active sentence or a passive sentence? The last, about the last Coca-Cola. I bought. Bought is the I, past I, of I, buy. Mm, the active voice, teacher. It's an active voice. Okay, good. What is the passive? The, I bought the, the last, uh, the last Coca-Cola was, was bought, I was bought by me. Uh, the last Coca-Cola was bought by me. Was, was, but, uh, okay, I, I was, no. No. Was, uh, because chain for, by me. Okay, wait, don't, you're confusing me. <laughs> Please speak, no, no me diga, I was, what, uh, okay, so, I bought the last Coca-Cola. What is the passive? The last Coca-Cola. The last, the last Coca-Cola was mm -hmm. bought, bought by me. Exactly, beautiful, yes, that's it. Okay. Hey, the last Coca-Cola was bought by me. So Milton, don't say, um, don't say the last Coca-Cola I was, uh, I bought uh, by me. No, just remember, go simple. Go simple. Very good. Sure. Okay. Yes, Sergio. Sure. Uh, could we use uh, for instead of by in this, it's in that example. Was bought for me or only, or only you can use the word by. By because I, because it's who did the action. Oh, okay. You're only by. Because, for example, imagine who killed Kennedy. Mm -hmm. uh, supposedly Lee Harvey Oswald yes. killed Kennedy, or Kennedy was killed by Lee Harvey Oswald, not for Lee Harvey Oswald. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yes. Yeah, I, I, I understand your point. Yes, pero. Ahí, ahí sería decir, hey, la última Coca-Cola fue comprada para, para mi mamá, pero fue comprada por, oh, es the, meaning, the meaning of the word, yes, mm -hmm. change the sense of the, yes, uh -huh, because if you say for, then there's no more subject. You if are you talking say, about the purpose. Uh, yes, purpose. exactly, because the subject, yes. The last soda was bought by me. So by is saying the subject. All right. Marce. Hello, Marce, are you there? Marce. Hi. Uh, Hello, Marisa. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, I think I think Marisa has internet problems. Nelsie, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Did you just take a shower? Uh, yes, I did. You look <laughs> fresh. <laughs> yes, but uh, he he it's very hot. <laughs> very yeah. 
Yes, yeah. it is very hard. Yes. Well, class, in general, do you have questions? Do you understand the active and passive? I know that it's difficult because sometimes the lesson is in one day and in one hour. Hi. And, um, oh, there's Marisa. Hello, Marisa. Hello. You look frozen. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Um, Okay, so I know I know that este tema para mí debería ser de unas tres cuatro horas, pero yo sé que es un poco difícil en una hora que tenemos. Pero do you understand active and passive voice class? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> At the end, yes. <laughs> yeah. The beginning, no. <laughs> yes. Um. But um. Or Satan. Okay. Yes, teacher, only need a practice. <laughs> yes, yes, the, the here, the object is to practice, yes. Okay, so let's look at the board, it says, at, at the board, at the, at the screen. Instructions, complete, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Sometimes more than one answer is possible, no capital letters or periods needed. Webcams blank used in the future to broadcast college classes. So webcams will be used or are going to be used. Passive, right? Thousands of computers already. Has been. Have been infected. More freeware. More freeware. What? will be released. Thousands of blogs Here, let me do one thing. Usted ya hicieron este ejemplo. Yes, teacher. Okay. So Thousands of blogs are being started on all sorts of topics every day. Recent, recently more hotspots have been set up in small towns. Nowadays, teen chat rooms are being monitored by concerned parents. These days, podcasts are being downloaded by people of all ages. Soon viruses will be created that no security software can detect. Webcams in the future to broadcast college classes. Webcams will be used or are going to be used in the future to broadcast college classes. Can you imagine how old this example is? <laughs> I'm sorry, class, can you hear me? Saben, es bien, les prometo, bien difícil ver 12 personas y nadie hablar. Es que estamos, okay. we are processing the information, teacher. Oh, okay, yes, okay, yes. but but the thing is, I tell you before, did you do this? No me dicen nada. Do you understand? No me dicen nada. Do you have questions? You don't tell me. <laughs> it comes to a point but, that I don't, I don't know if you're listening to me or not. I did, I did it, but I, I have... Okay. Uh, I process wrong. all the information. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do one thing. Um, now let's practice passive. Let's practice pr passive voice with no subject. And no subject is that the subject is not important. Let me let me give you an example. Who invented electricity? 
Um, Thomas, I, Ed Thomas Edison. Yeah, but it says the but also Tesla. But, but, also but yes, Tesla was the first one teacher. Yes, I it, heard about yes, that. But Thomas Edison is patented. Ah, uh -huh, yes. No, <laughs> you know, maybe maybe Tesla discovered it, but really the one that, or maybe he had the idea, but Thomas Edison was actually the only stupid one that really took the risk. Yes. Tesla discovered it and Alba Edison uh, patented. And then yes. after that, uh, let me see, somebody stole the patent to Alba Edison, but I don't remember what was the what what was the the invent. Yes. And Tesla died Tesla, very poor. Something like that. Yes. But listen to this. Um, okay, so let's say Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison invented the electricity, active or passive? Active. Active. Okay. Active. active. Do you remember more or less in what year? No. In 1800 something. Okay. Si no nos acordamos, podemos decir general. 1800s. Okay. 1800s. Okay. So listen to this. Thomas Edison invented electricity in the 1800s. Correct? Yes. Okay. Is that active or passive? It's passive. Active. Active. Yeah. Who said passive? What is the passive? Uh, the electricity, electricity was invented, was invented by, by, by Edison. By Edison. Okay, good. So, yeah, so the electricity was invented in the 1900s by Thomas Edison. So now let's not mention, let's not mention Thomas Edison. Va a ser más fácil. Electricity was invented in the in 1900s. 1900s. by Thomas Edison. So if if you want to give that extra information, good. If you don't, you just say that. Okay. Yes. Uh, passive, JJ, pupusas, donde fueron inventadas? I think that pupusas uh, was invented in El Salvador. <laughs> you think? <Yes. laughs> I think. Yes, the, the people from Honduras say that they invented, oh. but I think that no, it was invented. Oh man, do you know Marta Stewart? No. No. Nunca no. Oído escuchar Marta Stewart. No. Oh. Oh. She's a very, she's like, Who is a very popular woman in Latin America? Uh, Cristina, do you in remember this, Cristina? In this moment. Well, Marta Stewart, she's very famous because she has a channel de que hace cosas de la casa, de hogar. Mm. But she's very, very, very big in the United States. But one day she said, oh, I went to the market in, in the United States and I saw a line of pupusas I never eaten pupusas so I made the line and they were so good the Roya, right mm -hmm. so I invited a chef to make pupusas with us that chef was from Honduras oh oh man he said yes pupusas is the typical food of Honduras they were invented wow. in Honduras and some countries like El Salvador. Oh. Uh, boy. My yes, yes, y otros países también las comen como El Salvador. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, because the typical food from Honduras are, are baleadas. And baleadas are gringas. <laughs> Okay. You know, gringas in Mexico? It's, it's yes, yeah. yes. But he was saying that I love Honduras, but I hate that chef because he, he was taking credit 
Pupusas yes. are the typical food of Honduras. No, they're not. It's baleadas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, pero. Oh, well. But pupusas. ¿Cómo se dice ya quisiera en inglés? He wishes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he wishes. he wishes. But um, that that's good. So JJ said, pupusas were invented in El Salvador. So the subject is not important. Hablando gramaticalmente, porque obviamente sí es importante el sujeto siempre, right? All right. Um, Should excuse me, can I see the answers of the number three and four exercise? Sure. So if you notice in this examples, the, um, the subject is not important. Oh, Thousands yes. of computers have been infected by spyware. Bueno, aquí sí pusieron by. More freeware will be released soon for all kids of applications. Soon for all kids of application. What? More freeware will be released soon for all kids of application. This is not correct. For all kids, sería. Para todos los niños de aplicación. Ah, this is para las aplicaciones de niños. For applications, yes, I imagine. Thousands of blogs are being started on all sorts of topics every day. This is an example, look. There is no subject here. Pero obviamente hay, ¿verdad? Hay un sujeto. Miles de blogs están siendo comenzados por diferentes temas todos los días. Obviamente por gente. Por eso es que a veces no es importante decirlo porque la respuesta es obvia. Mm -hmm. yes. Por ejemplo, lo que dijo JJ. Pupusas were invented in El Salvador by Salvadorans. <laughs> Salvadorans, yes, by Salvadorans, Mayans, Inc, no, teníamos Incas, yes, no. Mayans. Pipiles. 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 Peoples. <laughs> Recently, more hotspots have been set up in small towns by a company, by technicians, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's obvious. Nowadays, teen chat rooms are being monitored by concerned parents. Here it's, here we do have the subject. Number six, these days, podcasts are being downloaded by people of all ages. Soon viruses will be created Soon viruses will be created. No security software can detect. Webcams will be used in the broadcast uh, to broadcast. Por eso que yo le dije que también es este ejemplo, porque eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. <laughs> Webcams will be used in the future to broadcast college classes. Remember, in the pandemic, everything was. Oh, you know, I was reading one thing that our generation, we will suffer the consequence of virtual classes. Why, teacher? Because Why, teacher? we will suffer the consequences of virtual classes. We will, be, okay, because like, let me give you an example where my wife works. My wife is, a, she's a dentist and they have two, two very young, recently graduated assistants, dental assistants. And they did the two years virtually. Yeah. Only one month practical. And my wife tells me, now I see the difference. Because when they assist, they can't. 
So can you imagine the doctors, the, 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 the people who are studying medicine or something? Yes. They will kill the patient. The patient. Yeah. No, but I imagine they, they did something, but the majority of, por lo menos, two years for a long time, they did a virtual the class. Yes, the chair. My yeah. son, my son is six years old. He was starting kindergarten when the schools closed. So you see a big difference because he had to wait one year and a half to go to school. And it, it really affects. Yes, I, I think the, the education in general teacher by or for the pandemic is going to be deficiently, is yes. correct? Yes. Is well, well yes. I, I can give you an example here in class. You, because you're adults, and thank you for being active in the class, but for young people, it's very difficult. Because many, many, they just turn on their computer and they don't listen. Latino in the fondo, like, that's it, like, mm -hmm. they're playing um, mi Minecraft. My, or, or the teacher is very my case, I hate the, the online class because my daughter who is still oh, yeah. um, his cla her class in, in online is very uh, very ugly. I hate it. It is, yes. Yes. And it's very difficult for a teacher too. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. The, 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 because sometimes um, the, the kids the children, uh, they have a problem with uh, issues with their with their inner internet, and I uh, disconnect the the class and teacher. The same uh, is a big problem. But you know one thing I discovered too that schools are liars. Mienten, <laughs> because my my niece. In the pandemic, my niece, she lived here in the morning. Aquí la cuidábamos. She is 13 and she studies in Guadalupano. And supuestamente it's a bilingual school. And I listened to her English classes. And that teacher couldn't speak English. No, in my case, my daughter received um in mandarin uh -huh, mandarin oh, classes oh, yes. oh my god <laughs> yeah the but, first yeah. year was uh -huh. very difficult for me because i don't i didn't understand uh to the teacher in the in this class and i can um and me told him i can see <laughs> I can listen. Sorry, and the teacher repeated uh, the 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 word, yes. but it's very difficult. No, it is. It is. But I remember I I used to listen to my my niece's class in English, and I was thinking, okay, she's a licenciada in idiomas, right? My my number one question is, it's not to offend her, pero si yo aplico a un lugar para una posición es porque se da la posición, right? Pero she was very, she was not good. I evaluated her maybe in basic, under. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, but of course, you know, let me go, wow. And, and because they pay a lot of money in Guadalupe. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, I don't see. Oh, it, y una vez the teacher asked the students to have the parents, the parents, you know, present in class. So I had to be with my niece. <laughs> and, um, and she asked every parent, hi, are you the mother or the father, you know? And I didn't want to speak to her. No quería hablarle yo porque la iba a incomodar o algo, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> Me imaginé, pero... You know, I was thinking, oh, oh, si ella and, me escucha. A mí. And she was so, 
seen the uh, it was video active yes it was video active so all oh, i said goodness. hello that's all i said because <laughs> yes I, I, you better keep silence teacher yes yes because i didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable yes yes because then she would have said he speaks english uh oh i'm in trouble in my in my opinion the english class was very deficient because my daughter received english class and he he repeated all, all class um what is your name um you are boy or girl um another 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 phrase is uh, how are Sorry. you how old are you yeah. and this the is the same words every class you see the and, problem the problem is that the majority of um i've noticed that schools when they teach you english what they want you to do is to learn how to say things but not why you know i've seen a, a interchange man king knows an interchange Uka, all the schools use the interchange and I the book remember the book interchange yes and I think I think it's very stupid because I remember the first class the first class of that book is like this what is your name David hi David I am Miguel hello Miguel David what is your last name Baltrons oh Baltrons Hmm, is that Italian or is that European? I, you make it, come on, this is not a basic conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that was, that's a, that's a intermediate or advanced conversation. And, and that book is like this. Oh, what a beautiful color. Oh, no, no. no, you have to go what my name is, his name is, her name is. You have to learn how to say everything. But everybody has a different way. Okay, listen, let's listen to this. It's a listening. Listen to Edward Ting and Maria talk about how they use the internet. Who's the most enthusiastic about the internet? Do you guys use the internet? Excuse me, teacher. Do you use the internet? Yes. 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 Do you know who uses the internet the most for pleasure? No, I don't. For Young people, pleasure, probably. for pleasure. No, but for pleasure, that means because adults, we use the internet in our work. Yeah. Some people yeah. in the work, but I was reading that really adults use the internet more for pleasure. And the reason is because everything is so easy. We are the generation that we had to read the complete book to make a report. We went to the library. We read like 10 books to make a report. The generation today, no, they just don't go to Wikipedia, copy, paste, copy, yes, paste. Yes, yes. So for our generation, the internet is like, hey, oh my God, ¿y por qué no tuve esto cuando yo estudié? <laughs> So we like that. But Are, mm -hmm. I think it was better uh, my, the time when I was, when I, when I studied because to, to read uh, many books, to make a report, um, l l teach me, yes. you know, taught me uh, to how to think. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's very true. So this is something similar to Edward Ting and Maria. They're talking about how they use the internet. Let's listen. Tell me if you can't hear. How do you feel about the internet? Can you hear? A. Listen to Edward. Can you hear? Okay. Yes, it just yes. Ting yes. and Maria yes. talking about how they use the internet. Who do you think is the most enthusiastic about the internet? Our question today is, how do you feel about the internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? 
It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the Internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the Internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the Internet is the best place to get the news, so I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online, so I have to use the Internet for that class and to do homework for it, too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello? What's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the Internet, Maria? Well, I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other, too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Tune in again tomorrow for this special show. So who's the most enthusiastic? Maria. Of course, it's Maria. 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 I love the internet. In fact, I don't know why I pay for cable. I never watch cable. I, I watch everything on the internet. Do you pay cable? Yes, but in, in my opinion, it's unnecessary because all people use the internet, for example, a lot of uh, application apps, new apps in my, in my house. I have a uh, BIX and Pluto is okay. a great app and Netflix. Yes. Yeah, I I don't watch cable. You know, yesterday yesterday I was watching a movie, Lethal Weapon Four, Arma Mortal Cuatro. That movie is one hour and a half, and in cable it took three or four hours the complete movie. Because every five minutes, infomercial, infomercial, and the commercials are 30 minutes long. You make it, oh man, this is, it's not good. Okay, now let's listen to the part two. It says, listen again, does Edward, Ting, or Maria mention the uses of the internet? Write only the letters, the letter or the names of these people. Don't forget to type the letters in capital. You don't need to type the brackets. So listen to who mentions that uses chat rooms, news, webcams, and downloading computer games, blog, well, I think Maria uses all those. All right, let's do it. Our question today is, how do you feel about the Internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the Internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. 
Let's take another call. Hello, what's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the internet is the best place to get the news, so I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online. So I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well, I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Tune... Okay, chat rooms. M. 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 News. T. Webcams. M. M. Downloading. M. 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 Computer games. M. 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 Blogs. M. 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 Uh -huh. Email. E. 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 Instant messaging. E. 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 Online courses. T. E. E. Online shopping. E. E. Oh. oh, Maria. Okay. All right, we passed. Yeah. Okay, class. So we'll continue tomorrow a little bit more of um connecting ideas yeah tomorrow we finish this tomorrow if we finish on monday oh, i'm sorry monday. monday monday tomorrow is free day happy weekend <laughs> friday. Okay. friday friday thank you oh i received a, i received a bottle of malo tequila <laughs> so maybe tomorrow is is a good day for, for try it yeah maybe i will try it tomorrow or maybe, <laughs> or maybe for August vacation. Okay. Okay. Trying to enjoy it. Yes. Thank you. I'll see you. I'll see you Monday. Have a happy weekend. Be safe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Happy weekend. Bye. You too. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye.